everyone, my name is Ellen. I'm Doug. This is the video recap for week three, level four in August of 2016 at the 920 special. And we were doing mm -hmm. Balspiration. This week was all about hesitations in your dancing. Yeah, so we started with just walking um, because this is where these start and just the idea of <sighs> taking this like s slow motion, big step that arcs into the air. And then you can sort of take half of that and put it at the end of things. Ooh, and then back. Ooh, and then forward. Um, so, and we can do this on the inside foot or on the outside foot. Um, so then we did it with uh, footwork. <laughs> and it's harder, right? Because you have to convey that slow motion feeling before you take the step. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, bah. So then we uh, went back to last week's material, which was the swivel cross, and we s put these in the swivel cross. Hoo, hoo, ooh. Hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo. Hoo. And we talked about how it's very important for everybody, leaders and followers, to be in your own balance and taking smaller steps is as you walk really large, it's hard to balance on your foot um, and control that hesitation. But if you're taking small steps, you can easily balance and rest with no problem. And you're not allowed to use your partner to help you balance because that is unfair to your partner. That's right. Um, just to reiterate that idea of like a parabolic arc, you can imagine like a circle right in the middle of your belt and you're pulling and making like a little parabola. It's called um, an over curve, right? You're going up and into the air rather than an under curve that goes down and up. And we practice going ahead and doing that, going all the way up onto our toe just to uh, make sure that you're lifting up. And then with a partner, you have to tone up in your body enough that your arms go ahead and move Ooh. with Ooh. your partner. Otherwise, you might get something disjointed. Like I'm yeah. doing it in my body, but I'm not bringing my arms with me, and uh, Ellen can't feel it at all. Mm -hmm. And so then we did um, hesitations with our upper body. So we did the uh, Dameron boop, turn boop, from boop, two weeks boop, ago. Boop. Um, and then we also just sort of showed a do da da do da da regular turn. And then we did this hesitation turn and showed how it's different than those, right? We're sort of going into this slow motion. Um, and so it has a different quality, even though it's taking about the same amount of time as that regular six count turn would. Feels like you hit a slow motion filter wall, Harry Potter style. You're dancing and all of a sudden. Um, and then, then we, we did the behind the yeah. back. So yeah. there's a, a very classical shape in Balboa. Who of this behind the back throw and uh, hesitation is a great way to bring that into uh, into Lindy um, and do it in Balboa so just to re review we were doing our swivel crosses and then on eight Boo. I come through here I keep going in order to make like a little bit of a linear feeling and then go over my head, Boom. and then just release uh, in order to get some distance. You can play around with other ways to get in there. A nice way in Lindy Boom. is to just use a tuck turn. Um, but play around with other forms of hesitation and other ways of doing that behind the back turn. And uh, Philippe and Ellen will do your very last week. So thank you so much. Uh, for being in this class this month. It was a real pleasure to work with you guys. So thank you so much. <laughs>